What's up everybody and welcome back to part two of planting the garden and I'm going to be planting tomatoes right in front of the cucumbers I planted in the last video. So obviously in raised beds you want to make the most room possible and plant as much as you can in these beds. So I'm going to plant seven tomatoes along this 12 foot bed and I'm going to be planting the variety Big Beef. Hey, before I do, go ahead and hit the like button. It really helps the algorithm, lets more people see these videos. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button so that you can get updates every time we release a new video. Now back to the action. Now, of course, everybody's got their favorite variety. Mine is Big Beef. I've just had the most success with it. It makes a lot of tomatoes. Slap those bad boys on a slice of bread with some Duke mayonnaise. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Now, just like I used for my cucumbers in the last video, I'm going to be using this Stout Ollie compost with the Mater Maker formula for all my vegetables and especially tomatoes. I think this is going to be just the thing that makes them jump up and down. So that wasn't so bad. Again, I planted seven along this 12 foot bed. Those are a little bit closer together than I like, but you know, I, I prune my tomatoes heavy, so I'll make sure to make plenty of room so they don't grow together as they get taller. Guys, I have to reiterate, raised bed gardening is the way to go. I used to till this whole area right here and I was all into a traditional garden. You know, I rotor tilled, pulled weeds, blah, blah, blah. These raised beds make it so much easier for weed control. And just overall, it just it's just an easier experience gardening. And I don't sacrifice production at all. I actually get more out of these beds than I ever did in a traditional garden. If you don't believe me, just look back at some of the videos I've made. All right, so right across from the 12 foot bed is another eight by four bed. And in this bed, I'm gonna be planting mostly heirloom varieties of tomatoes. So we got pink brandywine, a couple of those. We've got black creme, which is another heirloom variety. Uh, it's got that purple look to it. Also Paul Robeson, which is a new one I've never tried. It's supposed to be like a, kind of like a Cherokee purple, but it's like a beefsteak uh, purple type tomato. And I've got Celebrity. I'm not sure that's heirloom, but I wanted to plant it anyway. I love Celebrity tomatoes. I've got the classic Cherokee Purple. I've got two of those. And on the very end, I'm going to be planting a Biltmore. Now, sometimes what I like to do when I'm planting tomatoes is go ahead and pinch off these lower limbs and these bottom suckers get this one a little closer to the stem and the reason I do that is so I can bury the plant a little deeper and right where I've pinched off these suckers extra roots will grow so it makes for a stronger plant all right guys so I have my tomato plants planted here don't over complicate it just make sure when tomato gardening you give your tomatoes proper spacing. These are spaced about two feet apart and that you're giving it, you know, some good organic matter when you're planting them. Stay away from synthetic fertilizers. All they do is subtract from your soil while the good organic loamy earthy stuff puts back into your soil. Now, when these start getting pretty tall, I'm gonna to have to use tomato cages or stakes. Most likely I'm gonna use stakes to tie these up with so that the wind doesn't blow them over. That'll probably be another video down the road. I did a video on it last year. If you wanna see me do another video on it, comment down below. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and water these tomato plants in. Now throughout the growing season, if it's hot and you're not getting rain, definitely water your tomatoes, you know, at least every few days. I'm actually supposed to be getting uh, a water line ran down here so I can, you know, not be so far away 
you know, toting a watering can back and forth. I'm like a hundred yards from the house down here. So crossing my fingers for that. If it happens, I'll definitely make another video about it. For part three, maybe a part four, depends on how long these videos take for me to finish my garden. Be on the lookout.